So since the first rebuilding video that I've done so far on LB19, a bunch of you guys have been wanting the pirate. So today we're finally gonna be getting around to it because it's kind of been way too long if I'm being honest. So from the very beginning, my plan for this was to do from 30 all the way down to one, but that's kind of not happened so far. More recently, I've been going off of your guys' suggestions. So if you guys wanna suggest another team, just go ahead and comment that down below and subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. So the Pittsburgh Pirates today are not really that bad. From the time I'm recording this, they're fourth in the absolutely stacked up NL Central. With the team that they have, it's not bad whatsoever. They got Josh Bell, they got freaking Trevor Williams, which actually turns out pretty good in this game. They got Gregory Polanco, who I really like. They got a lot of good talent, right? But the thing is, the NL Central is so stacked up, it's disgusting. They got the Cardinals, the Brewers, the Reds are killing it this year. The Cubs are just by far insanely good now with Kimbrell as well. Like, they're gonna have a super stacked up NL Central, so it's gonna be kinda hard to actually get a good team going. But from what I see here, they just need some more power and a little bit more help in just some other areas. So probably like shortstop, and then other than that, just power. So if we can do that today, that'd be phenomenal. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Gonna try to rebuild this team to the best of our abilities, but we'll have to see what happens. So here we go. So I am using the most recent ride and rosters, which actually have a bunch of the draft picks on it real quick. If I could go find one, I really don't know exactly who the Pirates drafted. So hold on, let me Google this real quick. Draft picks 2019, there we go. Who was the first guy that the Pirates drafted? I should probably know this by now, but still. I only watched a couple of draft picks in the MLB. I only watched the first like five, and then I watched the Rays one. That was pretty much it. But um, Pirates, where are the Pirates at? They should be above. They got they got Quinn Price through a right-handed pitcher, so he should be down here somewhere. There he is. Okay, he's actually a B. Wow, 18 years old too. That kind of got a beast, low key. 95 on the fastball at 18 years old. Yeah, that kind of got a beast. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, he does pretty good for us. Either way, they got Marte, Corey Dickerson, and of course Gregory Polanco. I'm probably gonna sign all these guys to an extension. Corey Dickerson as well. I absolutely love Corey Dickerson. The reason why I do, I just, I guess I kind of fell in love with his swing. Like he has such a great swing and it's so, it's just so simple, you know? So I really did enjoy watching Corey Dickerson when he was at least on the Rays. And I actually did really enjoy watching him when he was on the Colorado Rockies as well. So when they got him, I was excited. And then when they DFA'd him, I was freaking pissed off. But you know what? I'm glad he went to the Pirates. A lot of my family, extended families up in Pittsburgh. So you know what? I don't mind the Pirates at all. I'd like to see them win, you know? But still, we got Jung Ho Kang coming back because, well, the guy was arrested, I'm pretty sure, in South Korea. So, like, man couldn't get out of the country for two years because his visa wouldn't work because, I mean, he was freaking arrested. So, it would not work. I'm pretty sure he was drunk driving. This guy's stupid, okay? Let's be honest. If you're drunk driving in South Korea, you're not very smart. But either way, I mean, he did come back for three games in 2018, but it wasn't much. So, I wouldn't use that as an indication if he's gonna be good or not. Elias Diaz, I don't really mind. I wouldn't mind having this guy as a backup catcher, so we'll probably keep him for a long time. Kevin Newman, don't really know about him. I feel like he's gonna be one of those up in the air type of guys. I don't think he's gonna do good, so. And then we also got Josh Bell. With Josh Bell's recent performance, I feel like I have the right to up his attributes just a little bit. I feel like this guy's an 85, okay? All right, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like he's like an 85, at least in franchise, so I'm probably gonna put him up to that because the guy's killed it. Like, he's already a player of the month in LB The Show. He's done fantastic throughout the couple months that the season's been going on, so. I'm gonna up him to probably like 75 contact and probably 82 to 83 power. 87 though, I should probably bring him down just a little bit because I feel like that might be cheating just a little bit. Bring down the contact a little bit, how about that? There we go, all right, 86, I'll go with that. I'm probably gonna get so many dislikes for this, but you guys have no idea how much I wanna make Chris Archer jokes. Uh, you guys have no idea how much I wanna make those trade jokes, dude. I'll make one. Fleeced, okay? <laughs> Fleeced, dude, I don't know what the heck your guys' GM was doing. Straight up fleeced. I feel bad. I seriously feel bad for what the Rays had to do to that entire organization. Took freaking three of their top prospects for Chris Archer. Like, oversold like a MF, bro. But Pirates fans, we're gonna be all right, okay? Just believe in me, right here, believe in me. We've been able to heavily rebuild a bunch of teams and I feel like this one's gonna be definitely a very fun one to do because we still got Josh Bell. A lot of fun guys in a stacked up outfield, so I'm very excited for this. So here we go, let's go ahead and hop into this. Let's get scouting out of the way real quick though. Let's scout contracts, what's going on here? Yikes, okay. Don't have an international scout, that's a big issue. There we go. West, we already have a beast of a West scout. Oh God, this is not good. All right, so there we go. We'll have to get better scouts later, but either way, let's hop straight into this. Let's go to the draft day. Let's see how we do. Here we go. All right, here we are, June 5th. It's the draft. Let's get it, baby. Let's see what happens. We're gonna be roughly about, I think 18th, if I'm not mistaken. Should be 18th, 17th, all right. There was a couple guys that I was looking at and I'm pretty sure they already got taken because we are pretty far away from like the blue chip stuff. So actually, yeah, all those guys did get taken. God dang it, dude. I had like so many good guys in mind. I think the first guy that we're gonna have to go with is probably 
Oh god, now it's gonna be a lot harder. I really don't like Aldo's hitting, but his fielding is pretty good. And I really don't want to go with a closing pitcher. Fernando wouldn't be bad, but then again, he's gonna be probably like 25 once he hits the MLB. But not to mention his arm strength and arm accuracy are not good, so... Screw it, dude. I'll go with Aldo for the first one because he's so young and he's... We'll have to see what happens, honestly. We'll have to see what happens with him. We'll go with Aldo, though. That's freaking annoying. I really wanted somebody... Uh, I really wanted the other guys. I had like four guys on my list that were going to be killers in the MLB, but... Sadly, just didn't happen. So, what are you gonna do? We got a couple guys right here, like Toby. Actually looks pretty good. Renee, not bad. He does bat left. Did both these guys bat left? Okay, he bats right. Renee bats left. Okay. Fantastic contact all around. Feeling's gonna be a 65. Speed's decent. Power's gonna be average. Okay, what about Toby? Fantastic contact as well. Power's gonna be way better. Play vision's gonna be elite. Toby was popping, baby. Was popping, dude. Jesus. Toby's a freaking low-key beast if he actually gets to where he needs to be. And then, yo, we could get Renee as well, but I'm not going to go for it. Man, he's got well above average hitting. He's got decent fielding. He's only got crappy arm strength and arm accuracy, but still. And his speed is fantastic. So I feel like we got to go with Manny or a pitcher. I think I'm going to go with Manny and then close it out with some pitchers. So we'll do that. There we go. Manny, welcome to the squad. Now we got round three. We're going to go for three rounds of pitchers. Probably, probably two starting pitchers and then one bullpen guy if we could possibly do it. So let's see what's happening over here. Matt Reyes. Oh my God, that actually looks fantastic. Fantastic. Walks per nine are going to be well above average and hits per nine are actually elite or they're going to be elite. So not to mention he's a 70 overall already. He's going to be ready by 2020. Throws left. Let's go, baby. Matt, what's happening? Matt does not look too bad at all. Also, if Rene Cortez is back in round five, I'm getting him. Thousand percent. So we'll go for one more guy through here. Eli actually looks pretty fire. I'm not going to lie. He's only going to be a 75 potential, but he looks pretty good. The only problem is the walks per nine are above average and not really all that great. So hold on. If I can't find anybody better, I'm going to go with Renee. 100%. No, there's really nobody else here. There's legit no one. Okay, Renee, we got to go for him. He's the only guy that is well scouted and an 80 potential, so screw it, dude. Why not, you know? A few moments later. I feel like if the Pirates were like 15th or 14th, I would have had a way better draft than what I did, but either way, at least 1A potential. Please, come on. Let's go, baby. Aldo's going to be an A? Are you serious? Jesus, a 91. Let's go. So we got an A potential for shortstop. Hopefully he actually grows into a good player because his hitting's not very good. Toby's actually looking fire, so I'm happy that we got him. Manny, kind of a letdown, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping that he'd be at least a B, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But either way, speed's going to be good. Fielding's going to be hopefully pretty good. Hopefully once he gets into the minors, he'll be better hitting-wise, but either way. Matt Ray is actually pretty good, 67 overall, 84 potential, and then Renee, not too bad either. And then the last two guys are kind of letdowns, to be honest. I'll sign Mario, but I'm not going to sign Chris. Yeah, he's going to be a career minor leaguer. Yeah, I'm not going to sign him. All right, the team right now is 11 games back from the Cubs, so not too bad. How is everybody doing so far? So Marte would hope for a little bit better of a year, to be honest. Adam, actually pretty good. Let's go. Josh Bell, killing it. Corey Dickerson, doing pretty good, actually. I would like the average to go up, but still not too bad. Colin Moran, what the heck, bro? I would have wanted this guy to do way better. How's his slugging? Yeah, 304. Okay, not good. Not too great. Let's hope that he does a little bit better. Gregor Polanco, very good. Melky, very good. Francisco Cervelli, actually fantastic for a catcher. Let's go. And then Cole Tucker, doing pretty good for a rookie in the MLB. So, down for that as well. Brian, how you doing? Decent. Jung Kang, not too bad. Kevin. I mean, for 58 at-bats, not too bad. And then Elias Diaz killing it right now, dude. Let's go. All right. It has to be pitching, right? Yeah. Okay. Trevor Williams not doing too good. Jesus. Chris Archer. What the heck is that? Okay. We're, we'll just let him do his thing for right now. Joe Musgrove. Garbage. Steven actually doing fantastic. That's what I like to see, Steven. And then Rookie Davis. I mean, come on, dude. Okay. Definitely pitching. 100%. We got to get some better pitchers. 1,000% actually. Okay. Good to know. That's good to know. We'll keep it moving a little bit. Let's see what happens at the trade deadline. The thing is, I don't know if we want to be sellers or if we want to get some people at the trade deadline. I feel like if we're below 500 by like 10 games, we'll be sellers. But if we're above 500, we'll possibly get a couple guys. I don't know. Again, it's the first year. I don't know what that is going to happen for this team just yet. So bear with me. The Astros are interested in a trade. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. Kyle Tucker and AJ Reed for Josh Bell. I can't do it. Even though I think Kyle Tucker is an absolute stud. And I think AJ Reed's not too bad. I can't, I, I can't get rid of Josh Bell. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. This dude's the type of guy that I'm gonna sign long term. You know, I can't get rid of him. So, nah, I can't do it. I feel like Josh Bell's the only guy that really anybody over here is looking at. So, hold on. All these guys in arbitration. I'm pretty sure Josh Bell 100% is Kyle. Pretty sure he's in arbitration. Oh, he's renewed for another season. Well, wow. okay. I would like to sign back Francisco just for a year. 100%. At four million dollars, I'll give him 4.5. No way. Come on. Two years then, nine million, perfect, okay. We're good there, we're fine. Colin as well, got another year of renewable. 
Okay, we're, we're chilling right now, actually. We're actually doing pretty good. Yo, Jeff McNeil would actually be pretty fire to add to the team, not gonna lie. His on-base percentage is killer right now. Second overall in the National League. Also, Austin Meadows is second overall in the American League. If I could get Austin Meadows back on the Pirates from the Rays, I mean, I'm not gonna be happy because I love Austin Meadows, but I'm sure that I would make the Pirates very happy. So how the heck will we be able to pull this off. I said earlier that I love Gregory Polanco and Cabrian Hayes, but I don't think I can pull it for awesome. Oh my God. But then again, he's 23. Oh my God. This is actually pretty hard to do. This would kind of set us into rebuild mode, but then again, we'd have Josh Bell and Austin Meadows. Like, bro, how are the Pirates fans on Gregory Polanco right now? I mean, he's not having a bad season, but he's definitely not having like a crazy good season. So we could do without him. Brian Hayes would be a huge guy to get rid of though at third base, which I would hate to do. But then again, I'm getting a stud muffin in Austin Meadows, like legit a stud muffin, bro. If I can get somebody else into this deal, I'll do it. This actually might, I don't know, hold on. I don't wanna get rid of Brian Reynolds. I really don't, so hold on a minute. God dang, this is intense. This is harder to do than I thought. I feel like Greg Jones is throwing it all off, so hold on a minute. I could get rid of Colin Morin. I'd be fine with that, so hold on a minute. If I could do this, and then this, and then add someone else. What can we do here? Okay, can't do anything right now. What if I add, again, what if I add O'Neal? So close, dude, so freaking close. I don't think I'll be able to add anybody, like legit. Just give me something, Rays, Jesus. You guys are annoying. They legit don't even want Mitch Keller either. Oh my God, what do you want? They don't even want Keep Ryan. I can't do it. I literally can't do it, okay. It'd be Gregory Polanco, Cabrian Hayes, and Kevin Kramer for Austin Meadows. This might work. You know, bro, screw it. We did it. There we go. We got Austin Meadows back on the Pirates, dude. How the heck did we do this? But there it is. We got Austin Meadows back, so Pirates fans, rejoice. Meadows, get over here, bro. I might as well just sign you to an extension now. I'm gonna buy everything out. Never mind. you want a lot of money. All right, well, we won't do that just yet. We'll save our money just a little bit. Okay, either way, I feel like we did pretty good there. We got a guy that we're going to be able to kind of rebuild around. Now we just got to focus on pitching next season and in the off season. Could you imagine being Austin Meadows though? He gets traded from the team that drafts him and then gets traded back the next season. Like imagine dude, that'd be crazy. Also, since it is September, I feel like we give Mitch Keller his call up. Let's see how he does in the MLB. Come on. 22 years old. Hopefully he does good. Let's see what that happens. Come on, Mitch. Come on, baby. Don't mess me up here. All right. So we finished off 75 and 87. Not good, but still we're in the first year of the rebuilding. So bear with me. How did Mitch Keller do in the MLB? Come on. Tell me he did somewhat good. Come on, please. Oh, God dang it. 22 innings of almost five ERA and almost a 1.6 on the whip. God dang it, Mitch. Okay. I'm hoping that he can find footing somewhere in the next couple years because I mean, I want to keep him, but Jesus Christ. So for the next three years combined right now, we have what? 50, $52 million in guaranteed salary for these players. $52 million over three years. We got so much room to work with actually. So let's see what that happens. Hold on. The problem is most of these guys are on contracts and I want to make sure that we keep a good amount of them. So Corey Dickerson, 100%. I'm going to keep him for three years. $20 million, 1000%. Okay. Jordan Lyles, probably not. Yeah, no. Melky right now heading to his age 36 season. Did pretty good actually for the Pirates. Let's go. Okay. Might sign him. 520. Yeah, okay. 550 on the bench for a year. Why not? All right, so what are the needs right now? We legit need a third baseman. That's it. Like, that's really the only one that's horrible. Probably starting pitching could get a little bit better as well. So I'll look for one starting pitcher and one third baseman this year. Perfect. All right. Third base. What's happening, baby? Got Josh Donaldson. Ben Zobris would not be too bad. But then again, 38 years old. Jesus Christ, Ben. Okay. Not much over here. Going to be honest. Not much. Josh Donaldson hit 40 bombs, 115 RBIs, and is only $8 million. Might be the best guy to go for. And then the pitchers. What's going on here? Gio Gonzalez could be pretty good. Not going to lie. I'm legit not going to be able to get Mad Bum, so I'm not going to even think about that. Probably either Gio or Tanner. We only have one lefty. Okay. Gio it is. So we'll go with Gio. 5.5, 100%. Go for him. Give him six, there we go. And then Josh Donaldson, why not? Get the bringer of rain coming over, why not? And we'll try to get him for $8 million. Let's see if we could do that. All right, that's worth a couple days. Hopefully we get him. Come on, baby, come on. Okay, I don't see him anymore. Did we get him? Oh my God, we got him. All right, Josh Donaldson and Gio Gonzalez, baby, there we are. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go, okay. Rookie Davis will probably get moved over. If I'm being honest, we probably could get one more bullpen guy. Steve Ciszek off the Cubs, a thousand percent. Go for him, let's go. Two years, 14.5. We're at the top of the list. Hopefully he picks us, but let's see what happens. All right, 
God dang it, he picked the Cubs. God, Jesus, come on, bro. Greg Holland, not too bad last season. Uh, Craig Stamen, Jesus, I haven't heard that name in a while. AJ Ramos, not gonna happen. Jerry Blevins, probably not gonna happen. Nope, okay. Also, next year, we'll be able to bring back Jameson, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. All right, so I like what I see here. We got Ryan. He didn't actually get a contract or he didn't get arbitration. So could possibly be a nice pickup and like an inning eater in the bullpen. Might have to go for him just to see how he does. Oh, a thousand percent, bro. He only wants 800,000 pretty much. Go for 850. You know what? 900. There you go. And then also I saw Derek Dietrich right here. I got to go for Derek. He absolutely killed it last year with Cincinnati and he's actually killing it right now. I know that really doesn't have any direct correlation to it, but you know what? I'll go for Derek. 2.5 for one year off the bench. thousand percent. Let's go. All right. Let's hope that we get these guys. Mariners, what the heck you want? Shelby Miller. Okay. Yeah, not happening. What the heck are you doing? Yankees. Ooh, what we got here? Not going to happen. All right. Nope. So we're at spring training right now. And as you guys can see on the 40 man roster, we got both of our 2019 draft picks. We got Toby and Renee Cortez on the 40 man roster, like 2020 spring training. If they're ready, I'm down for it. But like, I don't think they're ready. Oh no. We'll have to see what happens. But we do have Josh Donaldson right here. We do have Derek Dietrich as well. And that's really about it. Okay. Let's see what happens in spring training. Coming in ranked sixth somehow. Wow. We'll see what happens when we end it though. We'll see what happens when we actually get into the opening day. Probably be around 13th or maybe maybe 14th. I'm guessing 14. All right. Ended off actually 12 and 14 and then ended off actually fifth overall in spring training. Now let's go ahead and see the regular season. Come on, baby. Come on. Ninth. Wow. Oh my God. This team is balanced. Let's go. All right. Top to bottom, we got Marte, Adam Frazier. We got Josh Bell, Austin Meadows, Derek Dietrich, Corey Dickerson, Josh Donaldson, Cervelli. Wow, dude. Why is this team low-key fire? Why is this team such low-key fire, to be honest? What the heck? Okay. I would also like to bring up Ryan if I could. I don't think I'll be able to though, but hold on. See if I can work some magic real quick. You feel me? Jason Martin. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Nah, okay. Jason Martin's got to go down. I need another inning eater type guy. So Jason, I'm sorry. Ryan, what's good, Papa? Welcome to the squad. I just needed one guy in the long reliever role and Ryan's gonna be perfect for it. So there we are. Let's see what happens. Regular season time. Let's get into it. Hopefully we get some better scouts this year. Hopefully. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. A fantastic East scout. Anybody better for West? Not really. It's still kind of slim over here. All right, we're fine. Let's head to 2020 draft day. Let's hopefully do a lot better this year and that uh, we'll see what happens. Oh my God, this is actually something interesting. Hold on, 24, 75 overall? Nah, I can't do it. It's for Jameson, bro. I can't do that, are you serious? All right, either way, we're gonna be at draft day. I'll see you guys in a second. Hopefully we don't suck. The 2020 first year player draft is finally here. So let's actually see what type of studs we could possibly get. Come on. We only got two blue chips. What the heck is that? This whole thing is scuffed. We could get a beast of a first baseman, Thomas Arroyo. But then again, we got Josh Bell, so we don't really need one. Reggie Gonzalez, oh my God. Oh my God. Fielding's bad, but still. Reggie, what the heck, dog? Any pitchers? Nope, of course not. Okay, Sam Green, not really, not really liking him. Theo, okay. I'm thinking that we gotta go with Reggie because we could flip him for a very, very good starting pitcher. So, Reggie, welcome to the squad, dude. For this one, I'll go with Sam Green because he does look pretty good. He's scouted pretty much 50%, so hopefully he is 50% of the player that I see right now. There are really no starting pitchers. Oh my God. At least that I scouted for some reason. Like I got this thing on auto. I'm not gonna try to scout all these guys like 100%, but like there's no good starting pitchers that got scouted this year. Like what the heck are my scouts doing? I got some beasts by the way, like they're not bad. So like, it, what are they doing out in the office, bro? Oh no, either way, I'm gonna just get the rest of these guys done. I'll see you guys at the end of it, and hopefully we got a good draft class, because if not, that's going to be kind of a yikes. All right, let's take a look. Go to the draft, and wow. That's actually very sad. Reggie Gonzalez, I thought was going to be at least a B. He's a 78. Wow, dude. Sam Green at least is a 90. Like, wow, how the heck did that happen? And then John Lang is an 89, and then Roger Bench, pretty good. Okay. I still thought Reggie Gonzalez would be a lot better than a 78, if I'm being honest. Wow, that's annoying, bro. That's kind of annoying. Tyler Marte, pretty good. Adam, pretty good. Josh Bell, actually not doing too bad, but then again, for Josh Bell, would have hoped for a little bit better, but then again, it's only been 60 games, not too worried. Jameson's doing pretty good. Trevor Williams is killing it right now. There we go, hit his stride. That's what I'm talking about. Joe Musgrove doing pretty good. Still Archer, not good. And then Gio, what the heck? I'm gonna be on the lookout this season for some uh, for some starting pitchers and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get something. All right, so I got two pitchers that I'm eyeing pretty good. I feel like they're gonna be fantastic. So 
If I could get those guys, then we are going to be set up pretty good. So here we go. Trade deadline. Here we are. Nationals with X going on. Okay. Hold on a minute. Jackson Rutledge, 21 years old, 63 overall. Not too bad, but not too good either. And then Luis. Luis is kind of a beast for Adam Frazier, our starting second baseman. Oh, God. Nah, I can't. All right. He, Adam Frazier can play anywhere. I can't do it. But now, this is where we actually got to go for some of these guys. Two people I got in mind actually are going to be kind of low-key killers. We got Jordan Montgomery. I really enjoy Jordan Montgomery's like whole repertoire of everything. He's kind of a beast. Always does good in this game. So, gonna get him. Again, able to get him for Chris Archer, Eric Gonzalez, and Jung Ho Kang. We're gonna be saving a bunch of money as well. So, there we go. Got him. And then one more guy. One guy that we're actually gonna be able to get, hopefully. Should be able to get him pretty easily, though. Zach Eflin. Let's see what happens. All right, Kevin Newman, get in there. Oh my god, we can almost... Yo. Okay. Yep, that's gonna be fairly easy. We'll get rid of... You know what? Screw it. GL, bro. GL. Gonna be saving a bunch more money as well. We could also try to get... A relief pitcher in here. Okay, we got Jose as well. Yeah, I like this. I like this quite a bit. So Kevin Newman and Gio Gonzalez for Zach Eflin and Jose Alvarez. Let's go for it. Let's go, dude. Now we got two studs of freaking pitchers right here. And let's hope that these guys can do pretty well. I feel like they will, but then again, got no idea up until it happened. So please don't suck because it's going to look bad on me. So we still need some help at shortstop and we still need a long-term third baseman. But other than that, we're pretty set up. So let's continue throughout this year and hopefully we can get somebody good in the free agent market because that's really where I'm going to be looking for a lot of my guys. So 2020, please be nice to me. I kid you not, the 2020 Pirates finish off 90 and 72. That's what I'm saying when I talk about a turnaround. What a freaking turnaround it was. Two and a half games off from literally the wild card in 2020 with the Pirates. Like the next season. That's insane. So what we got to do, again, got to look for more of a long-term third baseman. I love Josh Donaldson for the time being, but he's going to be going next season. So not going to be worrying about it. And then Cole Tucker, again, just really has not panned out very good. He's not like a everyday type shortstop that I want. Like his hitting, he just has to have a little bit better hitting for me. And he'll be pretty much an everyday shortstop, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So, sadly, we do not have anything that we can do for them. Um, one thing that we could do, though, is possibly trade Corey Dickerson, because I want my boy Brian Reynolds to have, well, his, his starting role. He's an 86 overall, a potential. He's just way better and way younger than Corey Dickerson. So, if I could trade Corey to have Ryan, I'd do that. So possibly could use Corey and probably Cole Tucker and maybe like a deal for a good third baseman. I don't know just yet, but we'll have to see. Either way, let's take a look at the off season and see what that happens here. Yo, what the heck is, okay. Andrew Miller could go for him. A beast, just straight up a beast of a relief pitcher. We could also go for Trevor Rosenthal. Haven't really seen him pitch in actually quite some time as you guys can see. Hasn't pitched since 2017 besides 2020. So don't know about him just yet. Dallin Patances. If I could go for him, I would go for him. So we'll have to see there. The closers. The freaking closers. Doolittle. Brad Hand. Kirby Yates. Jesus Christ. Those are killers right there. Not to mention Ken Giles right below there. Their base, not really looking all that great. I mean, we got Jake Lamb. Could be an option. But then again, that lefties is disgusting. That lefty rating is horrible. But then again, that righty rating is freaking fire. So I don't know. I'd have to look at everybody's third baseman. Hold on. Just to kind of gauge what that guy would want. Andujar would not be too bad. We'd kind of be... Just taking everybody from the Yankees again. Guerrero Jr., I wish. <laughs> I freaking wish. That's the guy. That's the freaking guy I wanted. I wanted Vince Barrett, and the freaking Blue Jays got him. He's such a beast, too. God dang it. Hunter Dozier could be an option as well. Okay. I feel like we got a pretty good base. We're looking pretty good. Eugenio could be good. Travis Shaw could be good. Okay. Yeah, we got a good base here. Got a good freaking base. Good freaking base. But besides that, do we have anybody here that we could use like an upgrade for real quick? Bullpen. Didn't finish off that bad, so never mind. We don't need a bullpen upgrade, really. But then again, I would not mind having one, though, if I'm being honest. I might go with Doolittle for a year. Yeah, we'll go with him. Okay, 11.7. Besides that, we got one more guy that I do like at shortstop, and then uh, we'll go from there. That's Marcus Simeon, this guy. Never mind. 2020, he did not do good whatsoever. But I feel like if we give him a full year, he'll do a lot better than what he just showed. Judd Lowry probably as well could be pretty good. Yeah, he did pretty good as well. Jesus, what's happening? VR could be pretty good. VR's actually not bad. Jerkson Profar. I'm pretty sure Jerkson Profar wants some crazy amount of money for no reason. Yeah, $10 million. What the heck, bro? I'll go with Simeon for a year for $5 million. Let's see if he even comes close to signing. I'll go for him, though, just to see what happens. So either way. Pirates could do a little. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 92 overall. Let's go. 
That's definitely gonna upgrade the bullpen tremendously. He got the Diamondbacks offer. Jesus, I mean, all right, whatever. I'm not gonna go for anybody right now. Not too worried about it. If Mookie Betts doesn't sign though, I might have to finesse something real quick. Tell me Mookie did not sign. Oh my God, he actually didn't. Wait, yeah, he did. What the heck? I didn't get a thing. Whatever, I don't care. Probably saw back with the Red Sox, didn't he? That horrible person, let's see. No, he didn't. Wait, what the heck did he go? I did not get a notification. Where the heck did this man go? Now I like, now I have to know. Don't tell me it's anywhere near us, please. Yo, this guy disappeared. Okay, hold on. Player search, Mookie, where the heck did you go, bro? I probably missed him because I'm blind, but hold on. Yeah, on the freaking Blue Jays, what the heck? I probably went straight past him and I didn't even notice. That's not good, but either way. Again, this season, not only are we gonna be looking for a shortstop, but we're gonna be looking for a good third baseman. So, that's what we're gonna be on the market for. Hopefully we can get something like that. But we are coming into 2021, fifth overall in the MLB. So let's hopefully keep that up because if we're fifth in the MLB, we're gonna for sure get into the playoffs, which is the main goal here. That's exactly what I want, so. All right, so right now at the trade deadline, we're 66 and 43. We're doing phenomenal this season, but I still want my guys. I still want a fantastic starting shortstop, and I still would like a very, very good third baseman, even though Colin Morton's actually doing pretty good so far. I think the plan's gonna be changing just a little bit. I think we're just gonna go for a shortstop. If I could even freaking find one, I don't even know. Hold on. I could go for war. Probably Trey Turner would be a good one to go for. Trey Turner would probably be a really good one to go for, but the problem is, oh, he's only a B. Hold on a minute, this might be it. Anybody here? Carlos Correa is gonna be way too much. Eduardo would be actually pretty good, but then again, probably won't go for him. Trey Turner is pretty far down here. Yeah, okay, 35. Now what about Eduardo? Where's Eduardo on this list? Oh, 21, ooh, okay. 18, okay, what about National League? What about my boy Trey Turner? I know Trey Turner's not normally a slugger, so not gonna be too bad. Okay, wow. It's really all gonna come down to how much they want. So hold on, let's take a look. First guy I'm gonna look at, that was Trey Turner. So, please don't be too expensive, come on. Doolittle and O'Neal Cruz. Okay, hold on. We can do better than that, come on. Cole Tucker and Doolittle, heck to the no. Okay, what about Eduardo? Wow, that's so much cheaper. Legit, insanely cheap. I could also get rid of Dickerson and barely lose any money. Not to mention I could also get one more guy in here. I wouldn't mind getting my boy Brian Dozier because he could kill some left-handed pitching real quick. Like he he's not gonna kill it, you know, but he's definitely not going to suck against him. So this might be an option. Okay, it is. Yep, I gotta go for it. I think this is gonna be the best deal for us. We are gonna be losing out on quite a bit of money, but we also could get rid of Cole Tucker as well for prospects probably. So Cole Tucker, how much would he pull in? Probably should pull in quite a bit. There we go, okay, for prospects, let's see what we can do. This is actually kind of fire right here for Daniel. Okay, let's keep looking. That's not too bad though, that's legit not too bad. That might be the best one that I've seen so far. CJ Abrams would not be too bad either. Hunter Bishop I like a lot, god dang it. I might have to go for Daniel. He's the best starting pitching prospect that I've seen, so. Daniel, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and move Eduardo over to shortstop. All right, there we go. Let's see how we do. Let's uh, let's hope for the best here. All right, come on. Postseason, here we come, baby. Let's hope that we do fantastic in the second half of the season. I'm hoping to win the division. If we could win the division in 2021, we've successfully rebuilt this team, to be honest. So here we go. Come on, baby. Okay, 90 wins so far. Let's go for like 97. 97 and 65. There we go. We won the Divisional Series. We're gonna be taking on the Braves. Let's get it, baby. We haven't won the Divisional Series just yet, but we won the division, so. Let's see how everybody did real quick. So, Marte, actually not too good. Like, legit. Wow, I would've thought he would do a lot better, but, I mean, whatever, leading off. Okay, either way, move down. Adam Frazier right now, 22 bombs, 68 RBIs into 277. Josh Bell killed it, 36, 92. Okay, 274, not bad at all. Austin Meadows, let's go, baby. Colin Warren actually did not do too bad either. The slugging was actually a career high, let's go. Eduardo actually did very good as well. Brian, not too bad. Francisco Cervelli as well did phenomenal. And then Derek Dietrich, very good. Off the bench, Brian Dozier, good. Elias, good. Jose, only played 12 games, not gonna really worry about it. And then Reggie Gonzalez, got this guy last year. And he's already up in the MLB, doing some big things. Seven home runs, 22 RBIs, let's go. Rotation, how the heck are we looking? Jameson looking killer, Trevor looking good, Jordan looking fantastic, Joe Musgrove not looking too hot if I'm being honest. And then Ryan at the number five hole, killing it. Killing it, dude. Everybody in the bullpen, how we do, doing pretty good. Everybody did fantastic, actually. Doolittle killed it, let's go. Only problem is now we're gonna be taking on the Braves. The Braves got such a good team. Ozzy Albies, Ronald Acuna Jr. 
Freeman, freaking Mike Sorica that is already here. Like, come on. In 2021, the Braves are looking nasty, so I'm kind of scared if I'm being honest. But either way, here we go. Game one, Jameson, bring it home, Papa. Let's go. All right, you got the win there. Trevor versus Kyle, come on. Kyle is such a beast. Like, legit, Kyle is such a beast in the postseason. It's going to be almost impossible. Come on, Jordan versus Mike. There we go, Jordan. All right, Joe versus Kevin. There we go, baby. There we go. All right, 3-1. We're now in the NLCS versus the Colorado Rockies. This is going to get a little bit sketchy because they have a fantastic team as well. So here we go. Colorado, got hair main. Come on. What the heck? Don't have valid for... Okay, hold on. What's happening? What happened? Because there's pitcher slots. Like, hello? We're, we're chilling. I don't know what the heck is going on with this. All right, either way, hair main versus Zach Eflin. Zach Eflin starting off? Jesus. It worked out. Wow. Let's go. Jameson versus Kyle Freeland. Come on, baby. There we go. 2-0. A quick 2-0 as well. Trevor Williams versus John Gray. Come on. Tr come on, Trevor. God dang it. Jesus. He did not do too good. All right. Jordan versus Hermain. Let's go. 3-1. Joe versus Antonio. Let's go, baby. We're in the World Series. 2021. The 2021 World Series versus the Yankees. What the heck is this? Zach Eflin. Game one. Let's get it done. That's what I'm talking about. Jameson versus Julio. Let's get it done. God dang it. All right, we're 1-1. All right, Trevor Williams versus Domingo. Still lost that one. Wow. Chris Archer versus Jordan Montgomery. Wow, dude. Wow. We got to play these. We actually have to do this now. All right, Joe Musgrove, come on. If we lose in the World Series, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset if we lose. Come on. Let's get this thing done. There we go. Two-run bomb from Josh Bell. That's what I love to see. Come on, guys. I really don't like that at all. Zero outs and two guys in the score position. A walk. Now the bases are loaded. No outs for Aaron Judge. I got a pitch around him. We walked him. Wow. Okay. Stan, single. Yeah, we got to get Musgrove out of there. All right, limited the damage, 2-2, two, two, not too bad. Come on, guys, we gotta score some insurance runs for my boy. I needed some insurance, my boy Austin Meadows came through, that's what I'm talking about. And Brian Reynolds, let's go. All right, Kella, you did fantastic, good job. Jose, take it over. Oh my God, they came back, Jose. God dang it. All right, Kyle Crick, come on. Gotta score another run, guys. There it is, perfect. All right, come on, Kyle. There we go, good there, and then we're gonna hand it off to Doolittle. Come on, Doolittle. Perfect, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Brought it back just a little bit. We still got quite a road ahead, but we're at home. Come from behind. Let's get it, PNC. Let's get this thing done. Okay, don't like that at all. Zach Eflin already giving up a run. But there we go. Solid Marte coming in clutch, bringing it back, baby. But another two runs scored. Okay, Zach. Let's relax here, boy. Okay. All right, Zach. Okay, jeez. Okay, God. Gotta go with Joe. What the heck, Zach? Base is loaded. Francisco, come on. Hit by pitch. Perfect. Eduardo, come on. Okay, another run scored. That's fine. Pinch hit. We got to go for righty on the mound. Oh, Derek Dietrich, 100%. Righty. Killer. Come on, Derek. God dang it. Okay, didn't work. Let's go. Bring it back. There we go. Four to four. Perfect. Who else is good against... Ooh, what are they going to do here? Okay, Chad Green, another righty. Who is good against righties, my boys? What is happening here? Oh, Reggie. Okay, come on, Reggie. We drafted you literally last year. Let's see what you can do. Single in the playoffs. That's what I'm talking about. Still didn't work, though. God dang it. Okay. Nick King him. Let's go. We're king him. Top of the ninth. Are you serious? We held him. Perfect. All right. Come on, Cervelli. Single. Come on, Eduardo. Strikeout. Okay. Pinch hit. We got to go with Jose Ozuna. Come on, Jose. God dang it. Fielder's choice. Come on, Starlin. Are you serious? We legit are going into extras right now. Like, lit. We spent so much money on Doolittle just for him to give it up in the top of the 10th. Are you serious? Another, okay. Doolittle is never getting added to another one of my teams again. Okay, noted. Four runs. Doolittle choked it, bro. Choked it so hard. But still, the fact that we made it to the World Series in 2021 speaks miles ahead of what we are right now. So, still did fantastic. Doolittle, what the heck was that though? Like legit, what the heck? I'm still angry. I'm still kind of angry about that. That should not have happened. Honestly, instead of Doolittle, I'd rather have Jansen if I'm being legit. If I'm going to spend my money, I'm spending it on Jansen, 100%. We had him in the Giants rebuild and he did phenomenal for us in the World Series. So go for him. There we go. And then anybody else that we were really going to need? Probably not, right? I mean, Lindor would really be a good option, but I can't afford him. Okay, honestly, we're good. Like legit, we're fine. The pitching staff is still fire. I still believe in him. We just need that help in the bullpen just a little bit. Our offense is still good as well, so 
Just need that little bit of help in the bullpen. God dang it, Archie, that's the one guy I wanted, Archie Bradley, Jesus. At least we still got Kenley, but I really wanted him. I'm still fine with going with Steve, but still, I wanted Archie Bradley like really bad. All right, there we go, Kenley Jansen now in the Pirates, and then hopefully pretty soon should get Steve C check. Come on. Come on, dude. Let's go. There he is. Also, I don't want it to look like I just kind of got rid of Sean Doolittle because of that one issue in the playoffs. But I mean, the guy was still pretty expensive and I feel like Kenley Jansen has had more experience in the playoffs. So I would rather have Kenley Jansen, a guy that has some crazy experience than Sean Doolittle because honestly, for the past couple, he has choked. Like he has kind of choked a little bit. So he did really, really good though in the regular season, but I just need somebody that's going to be way better for, uh, for the World Series, so I feel like Kenley's gonna be my guy. Also, I gotta sign Jameson to a big deal because he's gonna be gone in literally two years, so. There we go, got him. Josh Bell as well. We're gonna be spending some money today, boys. He'll be a free agent next year, so I wanna make sure I lock him up. Six years, 125. We're spending more money than the Pirates have ever spent ever, and I think we're good for right now. Okay, perfect. Coming in, 2022, we are third overall. Wow, we have a gang of rookies up here now. But either way, let's get into 2022. Hopefully another World Series. I'm hoping to win this time. And uh, and after that, that's really going to be it for the rebuild. So in 2022, though, my boy Francisco is falling off. He is falling off hard, too. I'm probably going to have to get a better catcher this season at the trade deadline. I'm going to have to if I want to make it to the World Series. Yeah, we're, we're like barely above 500. It's going to have to happen. It literally has to happen if I want to make it there. So that's what I got to do come July. So we'll have to take a look. I'll look for a couple of... Uh, couple catchers that might fit his role. We'll see what happens, dude. We'll see what freaking happens. We also might need a better center fielder. What the heck? Starlin Marte is not doing good. And he's regressing too. Okay, I'll look for two guys. I guess I'll look for a catcher and a freaking center fielder. What the heck? I was looking at the war stats and the only guy that really has a positive war and like a good one is actually, and I'm surprised at this, Grayson Grainer, dude. Like, wow, this is kind of going to be like a blockbuster, to be honest. The only reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to put Riley Green at center field because the guy's absolutely killer, as you guys can see. Like this season, he's really breaking out, so I'm going to go for him. And then also I got Christian Stewart because he's going to be a fantastic bench guy. And uh, the only guys I could really get him for was sadly O'Neill Cruz. And another one that I really hate getting rid of is Mitch Keller. So, but it has to happen. We have to get these guys. So there we go. Got him. We got a two for one, pretty much. Now the issue is where the heck is Sterling Marte going to fall? I think we get rid of Sterling Marte for some prospects. Because he's, I mean, he's 33. I mean, come on, bro. So I'd rather get somebody that I have a lot of faith in. Because, I mean, he's not pulling very good prospects, if I'm being honest. There was one for a third baseman that I really liked. But then again, I don't want to give it to the Braves because most likely we'll play the Braves. So I'm going to go with the Indians because I highly doubt we'll be playing the Indians at any point. So Indians, there you go. Gonna be saving a bunch of money as well, so. Sadly, we had to get rid of Sullen Marte. I hate to do that, but it had to happen. All right, come on. Last game is a W. Are we gonna make it in now? Okay, we won the division, thank God. We really cut it close this year. Super, super close, but either way, we're gonna have to face Chris Paddock, Tatis Jr., and, and freaking the Padres now in the divisional series. Wow. 2022, the Padres versus the Pirates, divisional series. That's freaking insane, but either way. Here we go. Jameson versus Chris Paddock, come on. Come on, baby. There it is. Perfect. Trevor versus Casey. They have Casey. My oh my god. All right, Trevor. Come on. There we go. Joe Musgrove versus Joey. That's what I'm talking about. 3-0 sweep. Perfect. Now we're gonna be facing Atlanta. This is exactly why I did not want to give Soto Marte to Atlanta because figured this would happen. So here we go. Montgomery versus Max Fried or Freed. It's I think it's Freed. So my bad. Lost it anyway. Ryan versus Kyle Hendricks. Probably going to lose this one. Yep, there it is. What the heck? James versus Mike. Come on. There it is. Come on. Let's come back a little bit. Trevor versus Mike. There we go. Joe Musgrove versus Kevin. There we go. And then Jordan Montgomery versus Freed again. We made it back. We made it back to the World Series two years in a row. Let's get it done. Let's actually get it done now. Versus the Astros. A super team in recent history. Chad Cole versus Lance McCullers. Jameson versus Brad Peacock. Won that one. Now we're coming home. Trevor versus Garrett Cole. Lost that one. Wow. Okay. They actually, that was that was probably super close. Joe Musgrove versus Francis. There we go. Now I feel like we got to play this one. At PNC Park. I feel like we got to play this one. Come on, boys. Let's get it done. With Jordan Montgomery on the mound, we got Riley Green killing it so far. Let's go. Let's get this done. Let's get it going. Come on. All right, a quick 1-0 for them, but let's try to bring it back a little bit. That was super quick, though. I don't like that. A double for Jordan Montgomery. He scored a run. The guy can do everything. He literally can do everything. Come on, Jordan. Get back up there again. Sack bunt. Okay, perfect. Come on, Riley. 
God dang it. Okay. It's super close right now. Solo home run from Austin Meadows. Let's go. Josh Bell, double, single. There we go. Widening this lead perfectly. Yo, my boy Jordan is legit dead right now with the energy. Okay. Santana, come on. Get out of it. Perfect. Double play. Oh my God. These guys are playing it like insane people. All right. Top nine. This is when we got to do it. Kenley, take it over, Papa. Take it over, dude. Let's enter this game and get it done for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's go. All right, come on, Grayson. Me and you, boy. Me and you. All right, all it is, just got to get three simple outs. Me and Grayson just playing catch, baby. That's all it is. All right, oh, two. Come on, let's strike him out with that nasty cutter. <sighs> got a piece of it. Okay, come on. Come on. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Early strikeout so far. One out. Got to get two more to go. Another guy that we could have gotten early on. Kyle Tucker, ground to third base. Going to be an easy play. Got him. One more out, baby. One more. If you guys are Pirates fans, real quick, PSA. Pirates fans. Calling all Pirates fans. If you guys are excited, leave a like. It helps me out. We got Stuart Turner up here. Who the heck is that? Nobody knows. You know why? Because we're about to strike him out. Never mind. Pop up to the catcher. Come on. This is it. Grayson, let's go, dude. We have officially done it. After, what, four seasons, we rebuilt the Pittsburgh Pirates. We got Meadows back on the team. Killed it all four of those years. We rebuilt the pitching staff. The pitching staff was phenomenal this season. Rebuilt the entire bullpen. Got upgrades at shortstop. Pretty much upgrades all across. Finally got Austin Meadows a World Series ring. Well, I got Jameson as well, a World Series ring. Morin, let's go. This was a freaking amazing rebuild. So if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hit that bell notification if you guys have enjoyed in any way. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are down in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Tell me down in the comments what other team you want. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.